turnover. He's got a man. Harper going deep. Caught. Well, this is my gut reaction after Nebraska's overtime loss to Illinois. And to me, Nebraska gave this game away. And it was all phases. Uh, I tip my hats to Illinois. They came in here ready to play. And they, they look like the team that really wanted it. Special teams, even defensively, offensively. Illinois came in here with a plan and, and they looked good doing it. Nebraska did everything they could to give the ball away, to, um, excuse me, to give the game away. And it's, to me, it wasn't one. It, it, I know everybody's gonna blame the defense and the defense was, they had their own issues, but it wasn't just the defense. That last two offensive series for Nebraska was pathetic. And I mean for everyone. From the offensive line all the way to, to the quarterback. Dylan dropped the ball twice. In the overtime offensive, they went as many yards backwards as Illinois went forwards for their touchdown in overtime. And the defense gave them their touchdown in two plays. To the point when they lined up in that eye we, right here on my line, on my row, I know I was, and so was the guy beside me. We were hollering, watch the play action, watch the play action. They already did that to him earlier in the game for a touchdown. And what did they do? Play action, the guy was wide open. How are you not ready for that after they just did it to you? So to me, it was everybody. And I even put it on the coaches. It was everybody. That was a team loss. If you want anything good to come out of this, the good thing is with it, with as bad as they were playing, penalties, bad blocking, bad tackling, bad special teams, missed a field goal that would have won it. Dylan had Lindenberg wide open for a touchdown. I'm sitting there going, why didn't you have Fedoni in here? He's a little faster and bigger. And maybe they did that to try to throw a wrench into it thinking they wouldn't go to him because Lindenberg is more of the Lindenmeyer is more of the uh, blocker but you still got to put your best out there so to me it was everybody coaching all from the coaches all the way down to the special teams so you got to get tip your hat to Illinois they got a, a, a good win and let's hope Nebraska comes out of here and learns about this one because I'm going to tell you right now they could easily be four and three going to Ohio State I think they probably should win next week at Purdue but that's not a given they haven't won in West Lafayette a lot but then they play Rutgers and Indiana and to me both them teams are better in Illinois Illinois might be having a better season than Rutgers but right now Indiana might be the best of them three and you're playing at Indiana for that game with another another mobile quarterback. To me, Nebraska's defense will have a better job, will do a better job against USC's quarterback than they will like Indiana, Illinois, because they can't, mobile quarterbacks are giving them fits. Like I said, I tip my hat to Illinois. I think Illinois did a did a great job, had a great game plan. They that defense needs to do something about that run. You know, we thought last week was okay, maybe they were being a little vanilla. Well, after this week, you got to be concerned. I know I am. To me, this defense is not better than it was last year. And I think a lot of it has to do is now you're in this Big Ten here. These teams have seen that three three five. They now have tape, they know how to defend it, and they've seen other teams that have moved the ball on them. So this is just the start if they don't get it together. They need to come out tomorrow. I hope they go out and practice tomorrow. I hope Rule does what he did when they lost to Michigan last year and make them hit it out come tomorrow or, or Sunday. or Sunday. 
you know, if you're going to give him tomorrow off, then Sunday be back out there for next week's game. But, again, I just tipped my hat to Illinois. They looked like they wanted it more. Nebraska, to me, just gave that game away. And it, even though it went in overtime, you see multiple chances they could have won that game. From the touchdown that was overturned as an interception, which, you know, when you look at it, I just didn't think there was enough to overturn it. And since they called it a touchdown on the field, I thought that's the way it would stand. And to me, that's probably the way it should have stand. But they didn't. But between that and then missing Lindenmeyer wide open in the end zone and missing that field goal, again, special teams is killing us. We got to get that straight now. So that's my gut reaction. And uh, I'll kind of watch the tape again, see if we did anything well, and we'll get ready for Purdue. So guys, until the next next video, go Big Red.